All right, here's the airplane gone. Good morning. Good morning. Joe is flabbergasted right now. <laughs> I'm impressed. There's um, a couple of women came down onto the pontoon, and I just I didn't really pay any attention. I just thought they were going to go paddle boarding, but they're going swimming without wetsuits. I'm just impressed. With with bathing suits though. Yeah. Just to clarify. Yeah. No, they, Michael they... was like, I'd swim in this. Off you go then. I, uh, can, I can swim. It's not. It's not too cold. It's. Once you get swimming, you warm up pretty fast and everything. No, the thing is, is that they came down, and I knew they weren't doing paddle boards because they didn't have any paddle boards. I thought they might have, like, inflatable rafts or something, but then now they've just got the little um, high-vis floating things to keep you aware of where they are under the water. So, there's that airplane again. So, yeah, um, luckily, we're going down to Langrick, then we're going to fill up with water and diesel and turn back, and my guess is by the time that we've done yeah, all that, people will be out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, oh, come yeah. in. Yeah. 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 Look at that, Jojo, there's someone who's braver than you. Lots of people are braver than me. <laughs> it, it, it's probably quite pleasant to swim in, but it does sort of make you think about cold, doesn't it? All right, so, yeah. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to Langrick, Langrick Bridge. We're going to pull onto the pontoon there. Uh, they've got a replacement pump for us for the back. And once we've picked up the pump, once we've picked up the pump, we talked about um, replacement parts. Yeah, I like activities away. I like going there. All right, give them a second pass. We got the airplane up again. They're so low. I don't know why they're bothering. Oh no, the, the, the swimmers are deep. They can't say anything, they're just... They're just impressed. No, it is impressive. Still. Alright, yeah, so, well, they're they're gonna continue on swimming, which is great. Uh, I'll pass them and give them a wide berth. We're heading over to Langrick Bridge, where we're going to pick up diesel and water. Uh, it's the last point on this river where you can get... Uh, well, heading south. It's the last point on the Witham when you're heading south where you can get diesel. So we're gonna go back fill up with diesel. They also have a water supply that they'll charge for if you're not getting diesel, but it's included in getting diesel, so we'll top up with that. I'll run up to the shop, get the pump, talk to them about the possibility of getting the replacement parts like backup spares for the two cables that were put in. Because we've got a minimum eight days before we do the wash, and it's only like an hour between Boston and Langwood Bridge, maybe an hour. So it's no problem to go Somebody back up, up. If, if they can get those parts in. Yeah, and there's probably a bus or something as well that might be able That's to get true. us close. So, yeah, so we'll, would be a good thing to have those spares, although we should get a good year out of both of them yeah. minimum. They shouldn't go on the wash, more but than a year. I, just, I just think if we don't seize the moment and replace them, we just we'll forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so may as well do it. Yeah, so I'll ask them about it and see if it's possible. And if it's, it's quite possible we might have to go to a motor factor's in the. Yeah. In the oh no, we can, they can anyway. just order and get them delivered. Like. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and if they do happen to go on the wash, it would be good to have the parts on board because we obviously can't get the RCR out with the sand bank on the wash. Yeah, so we'll see how quickly that I can replace things before we end up in the North Sea. Yeah. Good. Well, no, we've got an anchor. Before we end up getting shoved all over the place and grounding somewhere on a sandbank while waiting for the tides and the top of the not, North Sea. Rather not do that. Let's try not to do that. Because um, I'd really rather not have to try and replace cables on the on the actual ocean. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you can't do it in half an hour like the guy yesterday. No, yeah, he was way quicker than me. Although I did learn some tricks. Um, um so yeah, so in those eight days we've still got to service the engine. We've pretty much you've pretty much done the lights now. Mm -hmm. um, we so need the to... only other thing really relating to this is the, is the black sluice. Yeah, we and want the to do the black sluice and the wetland if we can. Yeah. However, that's where we're 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 kind of at a at a question mark. The black sluice is definitely doable. Unfortunately, uh, one of the people with the best sort of ability to tell us exactly what the situation is on the sluice, the Welland and the Glen, is out sick. Um, and and so they're they're sort of the EA people are kind of trying to cover him and that leads to 
nobody really knows where the boating issues are at the moment. <laughs> um, however, the one thing that is definitely there is uh, there is a, a lock that takes you onto the well, and um, that lock that pretty much we would have to get through to get to Spalding is currently out of commission due to silting. And while the EA has, um, you know, been quite nice in saying that like they'll try and get it done and they'll see what and I can call them in a couple of days and see what this situation is unless they're able to redirect resources out there fairly quickly which um, is unlikely just which is unlikely. Boat, yeah yeah we're kind of we're kind of thinking that Welland and Spalling may not actually be doable at this moment which is too bad because we were offered some asparagus down there <laughs> would really like to get that asparagus but uh yeah we'll see um right, yeah. so yeah just to Boston via Langwick today yeah, <laughs> to Langrick, back to Anton Scout, which it turns out means opening or water, like water channel. Yeah, yeah it's not about uh, a man with a gammy leg. Yeah, it's not nothing to do with buildup of acids. About halfway back to Langrick Bridge, Michael spots a deer up on the bank, and so we get to watch it run back and forth. It looks like this herd of cows spooked the little deer as it went bounding off in the other direction. There are some private moorings here at Langrick Bridge and the little shop that supplies diesel to boats also sells diesel and petrol to cars. There's a chandlery and general store here as well and they're incredibly friendly and helpful. Well I've forgotten the name of it haven't I? Plum cake. Plum cake? Plum loaf? Picked up some, well, picked up our pump, picked up some coal, picked up some diesel, and, uh, George, George, nope, nope, George, yo, yeah, right down here. So we stopped here at the Langrick stores to pick up some coal, some diesel, some water, 
the parts for our pump arranged to order a few more parts backups of our control cables uh, and possibly some more oil i don't think i said oil good because i didn't say oil. i didn't get oil yet i was looking for oil they didn't have oil well they didn't have the right oil anyway uh george got shaved we fed some ducks and uh i got uh, joe a twirl and me something called lancashire plum cake lancashire did i say lancashire lancashire sorry got something called lincolnshire plum cake or lincolnshire plum um, loaf uh, with cherries in it and it's quite good although i was told to take it and put a little bit of butter on it and eat it with a slice of cheddar cheese i tried that and i tried it without the cheddar cheese i prefer it without the cheddar cheese but might be because joe gave me like an inch thick wedge of cheddar cheese so it's entirely possible that's the problem just you know inappropriate cheese choice and quantity but george liked the rest of the cheese It's just over four miles from here back to Boston and George and I decide to walk it. The beware of the bull sign is a little concerning and so we take a slight detour around the Witham and Blues restaurant, a bit of a random site in South Lincolnshire. The water tank is still filling so we get a bit of a head start and then Michael follows along with the boat. From here the river flows in a dead straight line to Anton's Gout, where there's a slight bend and then another dead straight line all the way back to Boston. We're back in Boston. There's the stump. We're back on the visitor moorings. Uh, however, this is the bow of the boat I'm standing on. I've rotated around into a funny position so that I can do the engine service tomorrow. Uh, luckily, the visitor moorings are quite empty. There's like another five spaces or something. So I've actually gone kind of kitty corner between two finger moorings to make it so that Joe and George can get off at the front and I'll be able to work on the back um, with the engine bay open and everything and we won't have to have them trying to climb over and me always doing the the uh, putting the panel down and everything if she has to go for parts and stuff so yeah 
the stump is quite cool. I really wish I could go up, up that thing. That's St. Botolph's Church, apparently paid for during the years when Boston was one of the richest cities in the whole of the country due to the woolen trade. It's kind of a strange looking thing, <laughs> but especially when you get below it. It's really tall. I wish I could go up it, but unfortunately, COVID, again, blocks us from being able to do that. <sighs> so, we're back here. Joe's exhausted. She walked all the way back from Langrick Bridge um, and had to take numerous little detours and stuff. I passed her about halfway along, and uh, but it's been an interesting day. We saw a deer, we saw some cattle. Unfortunately, saw a woman take a tumble and hit her head. Um, but she seemed to be okay pretty much immediately afterwards. Hopefully she stayed okay, because it was quite a nasty little tumble. And, uh, yeah, made it back here. So now I'm off to get some hardware and related things for the uh, engine service, prepare for all of that. Joe is going to crash and go to sleep, <laughs> I'm sure. I'll do that after I get back with all the pieces and everything. Hopefully this rain doesn't... Uh, interfere with anything. It hasn't rained yet, but it's sort of looking like it's going to. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, subscribe to Minimalist Maximal Velocity for our time loops videos, and click that bell if you want to get notifications. Mm -hmm.